Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tony, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. My kids are going into ninth grade, seventh grade, sixth grade, and second grade. So all new stuff this year, and I'm really excited. And I have finally figured out what we're using next year. This video is a lot later than I normally uh, would like to do it, but it is what it is. So I've put a lot of thought and prayer into what my kids will be doing this next year, and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So if you are ready to hear what our Thrifty Homeschool is doing for the 2023-2024 school year, then stay tuned. So I'm going to start with my ninth grader first. So one big change that actually does affect our curriculum this year is that we are starting a new co-op. And we've always been in a co-op our whole entire really homeschool career, except for one semester that we took off when life had a lot of crazy stuff going on. I'm trying out a completely different kind of co-op than we've ever done. The one that we've done in the past has always been um, like a few hours in the afternoon and the kids always took like two classes and it was anything from drama to music to um, science experiments. Uh, we had a crafting with books class. We had a sewing class, we had gym class, all kinds of stuff. So more fun extracurricular activity type of class. So this year is different because this is more of an academic co-op. And because my ninth grader, it's just a little different with her having to take um, things that count this year, I felt like this was the year that I wanted to try out this kind of co-op. So I have some friends that are in it, they told me, they had a space for my family, so we're gonna give it a try. So the subjects that they cover at this class, it's um, it's on Mondays and it's from nine o'clock until three o'clock, so it's kind of, a, it's a full day. We won't be doing school at home that day. We take care of a handful of subjects on at this Monday co-op. The subjects that we cover are history, science, literature, gym class, I think that's it, but that's, pretty cool because those things are actually covered. And for my two younger ones, I don't think they're even going to have much for homework. So pretty much theirs is done in class that day. And that's it. My older two, they'll do stuff in class and then they'll have homework, but I will not be teaching history this year and I will not be teaching science this year. So it'll be interesting. We'll see if I like it. I like to take stuff like this one year at a time. So we will just see if this works, but because of that, I have uh, I have our curriculum all picked out that I will share with you what they're going to be learning, but I'm not actually going to be teaching some of these classes. So the cool part is the parents get a say in, they make sure the parents all kind of vote on what um, curriculum they're going to be using and make sure everybody's on the same page. And we are to use BiblioPlan and I love BiblioPlan and that is what they use at this co-op. So I'm really excited about that. And it actually lined up with the year that we should have been doing anyway if we were at home. They're just going to be doing it there in class. So the first thing that my ninth grader is going to be taking is ancient times with BiblioPlan history. So she will do uh, the history there in class and then also have homework to do. So we do have, I ordered, let me show you what I've got. So I went ahead and got the, the family guide, which I'm not actually teaching this with them, but I wanted this, even though I'm not teaching it, I wanted this so that I could add the, the reading. Like if I want to add reading that goes along with the history, I've showed you guys this family guide before. I'll link one of my videos above that shows an in-depth look at this, but this has all kinds of really cool resources in here that they've got movies, they've got books, they've got um, literature guides, they've got memory work, all kinds of stuff in here if you wanna make sure what you're doing lines up with history. So I got that for us. Also, I've got this box here. I, I just opened it, but I'll show you guys what we have. So my oldest will be doing the hands-on maps, which is the advanced um, they're doing the advanced hands-on maps. So that'll be for geography class. So they have one class that does history. They have one class that'll be doing geography where they do that as a class. They're doing the questions, which is the cool history for middles. They have changed the covers of a lot of these and I, they're kind of cool. I like it. So this is just questions that I think they will be doing these at home. This will be kind of the homework and then they get together during class and discuss the answers. So she's got cool history for middles there. And then I have the textbook. So they are doing, even though this is a high school class, they're still doing the Remember the Days, which I'm fine with. They beef it up in other ways in order to make this count as a history credit. But instead of doing the um, companion guide, I think is what it's called for high school, 
They like this one and I'm fine with that. So this is a really good guide. It's got lots of color and it's still so much information. It's plenty. It's great. So they'll, she will be reading out of this and um, I don't know if they're going to be doing the reading in class. I think they do some of the reading in class. I don't know. I think they do more of the discussion in class and they do most of the reading and the questions at home. So I was really excited though that they're doing Remember the Days and that it was the level, the ancient times, ancient days right after what we were doing. So it worked out perfectly. I was really excited. So the second thing that they'll be doing there is science. So for science, they're doing uh, the ninth grade high school, the high school kids will be doing master books, astronomy. So I'll put a picture up here of the whole set. There's a whole set with a few different books from master books. I have not ordered it yet, but this is what they'll be doing in their class. And she'll just have homework at home to do with that. So I'm excited. I hope we like this setup. It'll be interesting because I've never not taught history and I've never not taught science. So it'll be interesting. And then the other thing we'll be doing there is literature. And I'm actually going to be teaching the high school literature class. And so we will be using Progeny Press literature guides. And the four books that I chose, we're doing four books over the year and a guide for each one. And that's an another thing where I'll assign, they'll have to read the, um, they'll have to read certain chapters at home. They'll do the questions at home and then we'll get together and we discuss it together. And I'm really excited about her to have that opportunity to not just discuss it with mom or with her little siblings, but to have kids her age in high school to discuss the literature stuff together. So the four books that we are doing it are The Bronze Bow, which I know that this is actually a younger literature guide, but it was sounded like I've actually never read this and I've seen it in, I've heard that it's a great book and it sounded really cool, biblical literature and the story sounded really neat and it tied in with the history. So we are doing it and we're just gonna beef it up to make it a high school level. We'll do like all the questions rather than picking and choosing and things like that. So the bronze bow will be our first one. We're gonna do the Christmas Carol, which I'm really excited about. And that'll be the second one, which will be right around that time leading up to Christmas. So I'm excited about that. The Hobbit will be our third book. And that's one that she actually read a couple years ago and did an online um, literature discussion class. We've never done an online class before, but she did that, but it's been years. It was two or three years ago when she did that. And I've never read The Hobbit, so I have to read these things also and then to be able to discuss with the kids. So that'll be cool. And then I'm hoping we'll watch the movie at the end. And then we're also doing the screw tape letters, which is a book that I have heard is amazing and we haven't done it before. I've, we've never read it in our family. So that'll be the fourth book that we will be doing in the literature class. So I'm super excited about that. So that's all the stuff with co-op. They have a gym class and it's a real structured gym class that you can actually count it as gym, but I also, my kids play sports too. So she's planning on playing basketball this year also. She's kind of has gone back and forth about maybe doing cross country or uh, volleyball too. She's not really sure, but she will be playing a sport this year. So that'll count also, but she also has that gym class. So. The other stuff we'll be doing at home. So let's get into that. Okay, so let's get to the nitty gritty of what she'll be doing at home. One big change that we're gonna have in our school this year is math for her. My other kids um, are not gonna be changing math, but her math is gonna change because she's going to high school level math. We've used Christian Light Education for years and we have loved it, but I've heard that the upper levels People aren't as thrilled with the upper levels. I think because it's a Mennonite, I don't quote me on this. I think, I think it's a Mennonite curriculum. And I think I've heard that maybe a lot of their education doesn't go past like the eighth grade. So then what they have for math maybe isn't as good. And I could be totally wrong and maybe their math is great. I don't know, but that was one reason why I was never planning on using theirs past eighth grade. And the other reason is because for high school, I just want her to have something on the computer. She's been wanting something on the computer for a couple years and I really liked Christian Light, so I wanted her to stick with that for as long as we could, but I'm ready for her to have some things on her own that mom doesn't even have to grade. So, cause you guys know how much I love grading papers. No, I don't. So we're gonna try CTC math this year. It's completely online. She does her lessons online. It grades it online. Everything's online. Mom doesn't have to do anything. So I'm really excited about it. 
I have a really good friend whose daughters use this and she said she's seen huge changes in them because I think one of them kind of struggled in math for a little bit and she started using CTC math and it like she took off and is doing amazing. And so I've heard really only good things for this. It's similar. I was kind of torn between this and teaching textbooks and then I heard about another one. Sometimes, do you see my shirt today? Probably overthinking everything. So that's me. I put so much thought into it and then I'm like, oh, this one sounds good. Oh, this one sounds good. And then I kind of get a little crazy, which is why it took me so long to decide on all this. But I, I'm just going to go with this because it sounds good. I've heard good reviews. We're going to do it. You can do a um, trial like test. What do you call it? You can try it out and a free trial. There we go. You can do a free trial of CTC math. And that's what we did. So I downloaded that and you can do a handful of the first lesson of different things. And she was able to try it out. It explains it. So there's a guy, I think he's got kind of an Australian accent maybe, which is fun. I don't know, different than me. I don't have an Australian accent. I thought it was cool. So he, um, he like, you don't see him, but he does the work on the computer. So like on the screen, she can see like her, him like writing out the math problem, solving it, and then she has to do it. And she can do work on her paper if she needs to, and then write the answer in, but it's all done on the computer. And I just think she's gonna love it. I think it's gonna be really helpful. And if there's anything she needs, we can go back and rewatch it. I can try to help, you know, the best I can, but I was, I didn't, I don't love math. And we're getting into like, you know, algebra and all the things in high school. And I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna teach it. I'm not, I'm, I don't need to teach that. So that is what we're going to do. And I'm excited. So if you have used CTC math, let me know in the comments, because I'm curious. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people. I don't know a ton of people personally that have used it, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm just curious if any of you guys have used it. So that's what we're doing this year. The nice thing is, um, you, you get access to all the levels. So it's not like I have to order just CTC math of like algebra one. If she needed a little bit of pre-algebra to finish before she moves on to algebra one, and then maybe she goes through algebra one and like you have just a time period where you get access to all the levels, if I'm understanding correctly. So that's kind of cool. Cause I feel like she could kind of, if she needs a little, if like we get to algebra and, and, and I feel like she's not quite ready, I think we could go back and do some of the lessons from pre-algebra to really help her with that. It's not like where you have to order one specific level and then you're stuck with it. So I think, okay. So math is a change. Language, English. So for her English credit, she, um, we're sticking with fix it grammar cause she loves fix it grammar and it's been really good for us. So she's doing fix it grammar level four, I believe is what she's in. So for her English credit, I'm putting together language, writing, vocabulary, not writing. Yeah. Language, writing, and vocabulary. That's the English credit. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> I am an expert. Follow me for more advice. Okay. So we are doing fix it grammar for language. We're doing write shop for writing. We did write shop last year. And I told you guys when I did my review that, um, it wasn't a total success. Okay. But a lot of that was me. So I'm going to prep this year this summer, I'm gonna prep like I had planned to do last year and I'm gonna keep up on it because last year, just sometimes we got behind, we didn't do it as, as often as we wanted. It took me a while to get familiar with it because it is a different learning thing. It's just a different learning style of the way they do it. But the writing was really good, so I really liked it. So I am going to be sticking with it because I own it and we're gonna do it and we're gonna make it work. So we are doing um, Write Shop for Writing We've never done vocabulary separate from anything before. Like we've had vocabulary words in our reading curriculum or we've had it in our language curriculum or whatever. But we really, I want to work on vocabulary and I'm also going to kind of make that a spelling thing because she could use a little more practice with some spelling stuff. So we're going to use Wordly Wise for vocabulary and I've heard it's really good and that's what we're doing. So she's gonna be able to use all kinds of fancy words and impress her friends. So that's it for English, okay? Now for reading. I'm doing something because I wanna do it and because I'm allowed to do whatever I wanna do. Isn't that cool? So for reading this year, I'm not doing a reading curriculum. Now, 
we are doing our literature curriculum with our co-op. So technically I don't need to do another reading curriculum, but I did, I was kind of considering doing a couple things at home, but I'm just gonna read good books. So she's got those four books to read for co-op, but I'm also going to be assigning other good books and she's gonna read them and I'm gonna read them and we're gonna discuss them and we're just gonna try to just enjoy reading. Cause sometimes I feel like you can get into like, you can kind of tie yourself down when you use a reading curriculum and miss out on some of these other books because you're like, I don't have time for this and I don't want that. So we're just gonna be reading good books. But like I said, on paper, we'll use the literature. She's gonna be doing a lot of literature stuff for the Monday co-op, but I'm not doing anything officially extra on top of that. Um, we're just gonna read good books. I was considering doing Read Aloud Revival. I can't find a whole lot online about it, so please tell me if you've used Read Aloud Revival. I know one person um, that that really loved it, Lindsay from Love Them Well. She was one that talked to me about it for a while and she really loved Read Aloud Revival. I don't know really anybody else who's done it, but I love it and I love the idea. And when we were on vacation, I listened to a ton of podcasts of Sarah McKenzie and I love her. Anyway, have any of you used it? Because it really inspired me listening to her podcast and I was like, oh, I should just do this. Cause like you get to meet the authors, they have all these things that you can do online. And um, and so like reading the book and meeting the author and then having these like question things and discussing, I don't know. It just seemed really cool, but it does cost money and I wasn't sure if it was worth it. So if you have done Read Aloud Revival, let me know because I was considering that for reading, but I don't know, I just don't know. But I'd love to hear from you guys if you've done it. There's not much out there, which is weird about that. Okay, now group subjects. So that's really all the individual stuff. So the rest is gonna be group subjects because we can still do stuff together as a family. Yay, because I love group subjects. So first thing we're gonna do is our memory verses. We're gonna continue with our Simply Charlotte Mason um, memory verse box I have that I've shown you guys before. I have this little box here full of memory verses and we did a bunch last year, but we are, we're gonna get better at it and we're gonna do a ton this year because you know what? My soon to be fifth grader, my littlest girl, she memorized for VBS on Monday. We had VBS this week. Monday, she memorized 12 verses. Tuesday, which was a double points day, she memorized 12 more verses. And then Wednesday, she memorized one long verse. So that's 25 verses in three days. And sometimes I realized it's mom. I'm the reason why we're not getting more of these done because my brain doesn't work like that, but theirs does. So do memory verses. And I know it may be a little bit more difficult. I think for my older one, for some reason, she's not great at memory verses, but I don't think she tries as hard either. She might need a little push. But when I can see what the little ones, what my other one can do and my sixth grader or my soon to be seventh grader, she's amazing also. They just like soak it up and can just parrot it back and it's amazing. So we're gonna do better at memory verses this year. We're also gonna do memory work. So I wanna try to do some of that. These won't be necessarily done every single day. I think the verses need to be done every single day, but the memory work, Biblio plan, like I said, in that family guide, they have, um, all kinds of like memory work in here. Let me see if I can find one to show you. So like for unit two, Egypt, Assyria, and Israel, all this is memory work here. So they've got like, you can memorize Bible verses. You can, oh, this is like all scripture. Okay, over here. You can memorize the 10 plagues in order. You can memorize the 10 commandments, kind of a simplified version of the 10 commandments. They've got the furnishing of the tabernacle. It's got all that. The 12 tribes of Israel. That would be good. Like stuff like that that I just think would be good to just have us work on memory work. The six major judges of Israel. The books of the Bible from Genesis through Ruth. Periods of ancient Egyptian history. They've got all that listed out. That's something you just go over every day or every couple days as memory work. The 12 pharaohs of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. The major deltas of the world the major deserts of the world, seven countries of the Southern Middle East, all that stuff. Plus they have a ton of Bible verses because this is ancient history, but um, we're gonna work on memory work because I haven't done, I did it a couple times last year, but not much. So, you know, you gotta set your goals high because sometimes I fail, but I'm gonna at least set my goals high. So we're gonna try to do that. Poetry, I also have not, we've had poetry interspersed with our um, language curriculum a lot of times but 
I'm going to add in some poetry because we need to memorize some poetry, but I haven't done that much. Um, we are going to do music. All my kids are going to be taking piano. My oldest, I haven't completely convinced her. She wants, she was doing voice lessons last year, which she kind of wants to stick with. I'm not really sure. Otherwise, I'm going to make her do piano because she used to take piano and then I let her quit. So I think I might have everybody do that. Also hymns. We did this hymn book here last year and we loved it. So I want to continue with this because it was just so great to learn about the hymns and sing the hymns together. And it was just so precious. I love that time together. I talked about PE. We've got the PE class and we've got, um, she's probably going to be doing basketball or something. Then health. We are doing Trim Healthy Mama this year that we did last year and didn't do great at it, but we're actually doing it in our life. Like I'm learning how to make sourdough bread right now. And my girls are gonna help me learn how to make it. So we are going to actually keep up with the Trim Healthy Mama curriculum because we're gonna be doing that in our life. That was why we struggled last year is because we're eating whatever we want. I'm drinking soda and we're having cookies and we're having whatever, having hamburgers and whatever. And yet we're learning about this healthy stuff you're supposed to eat. And I'm like, oh, this is confusing. So we're going to actually, it'll make a whole lot more sense if we're actually doing it at home. That's my goal because we need to get healthy anyway. Um, let's see. First aid is something that I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I have to do it for my other kids. I'm not sure about my high schooler, but I am going to have their dad teach them CPR because he was a police officer. He's a retired police officer and he um, knows all the stuff. So I'm going to have them, I'm going to have him do an official CPR class with them because they need to learn that. And then the last thing is Bible Bible. I am going to do apologia. Who is God? And can I really know him? I've heard a ton of good stuff about this. So we're just going to give it a try. We're going to do this interspersed with devotionals. Cause I love doing family devotions in the morning with me and my kids. So we will probably alternate like we did last year, do this one day, do devotions one day, do this one day, do devotions one day. So that's it. That's what we're doing. So it might sound like a lot, but the group subject stuff is um, like just, it'll be all kind of alternating and stuff like that. So I'm excited. And I actually am not stressed about my ninth grader. I'm not. I talk to people who have gone through this and have wisdom and told me to chill out in a nice way. But I realized that it's really not, I'm, I, I can do the same thing we've been doing and I just assign credit to it. I don't have to do crazy stuff. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is what we're doing for ninth grade. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out, first of all, on my next three kids because I'm gonna be having a video uh, this week, a couple days this week on what they're doing for the next school year. And also, if you just wanna follow us for life, for we like to talk about thrifty stuff, we talk about homeschooling and mom life stuff. So make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And please like this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then just, you can still pretend. Thanks for being here. I will see you guys next time.